Oh god I forgot I had that on, he sighed as his hand reached up to the green satin bow tie around his neck. You've probably noticed that my shirt is actually a blouse. Nice though. I like the little sleeves. Not so keen myself. Peter shrugged as he sneered at his pin-tucked sleeves. Move the screen so I can see you, sit back a bit, she suggested. That's better, she said as he bashfully looked down at his school shirt. So, what homework have you been doing? Science, geography and English, he replied. They chatted about school and homework and home and this and that. He tells her that it's a bit boring having to do his homework the moment he gets home from school and having to stay in uniform whilst doing it, but it's good to get it done and out of the way, better than rushing it over breakfast. True, although I tend to rush mine over breakfast. Carol confessed. Can I see the rest of it, she asked. Put your laptop somewhere and stand where I can see you. Peter put his laptop on his dresser. You better not be recording this, he said as he angled the screen to get the best shot. He didn't believe for a moment that she would be recording as he coyly stepped away from the dresser and into view. Your legs look really long, she said. They look really green too, he said as he turned to face his laptop and looked down at himself. You've got different shoes on. Ah, uh, yeah, he said as he twisted a knee inwards a little, pivoting on his toe to give a side view of his footwear. A broad smile swept her face as he did so. I bet you can't run in those, she stated, noticing their heel is significantly higher than the Mary Janes he was wearing in the photograph. Not really, he replied. I can walk okay in them though. And they are lace-ups, he added. I can see, she exclaimed. I'm actually quite jealous, she said. They look really nice. Yeah, he replied, still looking down at his feet from varying angles. Do you like them, she asked. They are a lot better than those Mary Janes, he replied. I got them for Christmas. Cool, she said as her eyes slowly trundled up his legs. I'd probably get sent to Mrs. Bilsden's office if my skirt was that short.